What's going on guys, Joe with OMGRC here. So today I have the Traxxas Rustler, the 4x4 VXL system, still in the plastic. Let's go ahead and get this thing out of the plastic and see what it's all about. So what do we get here? We get a plastic bag full of some goodies here. We get some stickers, we get a little um, battery tie down that's here. Nice on that one. I think that's gonna accom accommodate if I have running on a 3S, big lipo. Uh, but I'm gonna, I'll show you that one here. Also, as far as these little tools, that's nice. I like having getting extra little tools. You know, it's always a good thing. Some little jump uh, spacers here for your shocks, some other little, uh, whatever these are for your piston of the shock itself. Slow down that flow of oil speed things up but these look to be a little bit uh, anyway so you get that kind of stuff you get your pinion gear that's in there so you want to go a little bit faster that 65 plus miles an hour really want to uh, we'll see i don't know how these tires are going to work so i'm going to see how this thing all works you, you get the manual and everything that's in there that tqi system it's pretty nice as far as the radio goes you know four double a's on the bottom there your little on and off switch at the bottom get some adjustments here so when it comes to you know your steering trim and then this here i believe is going to be to adjust your Traxxas stability management and then here if you need to get into um, you know setting up your vehicle as far as you know extra little features or what have you on there reversing stuff now it doesn't have the the Bluetooth in it right out of the box but you can add it which would be nice if they gave you that that'd be cool because I've used it before the only gripe I have with that is when I want to make an adjustments and then it's like hey by the way you have an update the update before you can actually start adjusting the vehicle all right, and then this is attached inside here. But I wanna kinda of talk to you about the body top. You guys let me know about this body top. Uh, I wanna know if your struggles are as bad as my struggles on getting this body top off and back on. But I do, it's just kinda of going about the body top right now. The outside, digging the wheels, I think they look nice. It's like the mini me of the other version of the E-Revo 2.0. This is a smaller one of it. Uh, I, the tires feel like they're gonna balloon pretty uh, bad when it, I'm going to say they're going to balloon a little bit there. I don't know how bad they're going to balloon at high speeds and how unstable this vehicle is going to be. It's got, but anyway, we'll see about that. I do dig these little, these pieces here. So when, if it rolls over, which is going to happen, it's going to happen. It's inevitable. But uh, this is nice that it has a little skid plates on top of it. Now let's get into the body top real quick. Oh, before I do that, I want to talk about this wheelie bar. So this wheelie bar, I'm trying to, foresee things sometimes. Now, if you're jumping and you're landing, it's kind of smashing up into it here. So that's kind of a bummer. You guys can let me know in regards to that one since this is straight out of the box. Um, you know, as far as the bottom of it here too, you know, obviously it's these, You can, again, this is all fresh for me when it comes to this particular vehicle. So you guys can let me know like, oh yeah, well, you know, if you're jumping it, whatever, this is potentially, this is gonna break. I know like the arms, those are kind of like things, uh, the bumper, I don't know if you can get a different like RPM, oh this, they got a better bumper for it or something like that. You guys let me know, you guys are pretty awesome about doing that stuff. Um, all right, so let's get this body top off and then let me know about this body top. Am I, is it, there, oh yeah, there's something wrong with it or whatever. So usually on the X-Max, when I had the X-Max, super easy, one-handed system and it was all good to go. Like I can't get it over there. I gotta actually put the, let me see if I can get. All right, so you, you heard all that, obviously. I'm trying to get that body top off of there, man, it's pretty rough. And getting it back on, well, I can't do it with one hand. I'm gonna, be, and also as far as the body here goes, because it wants to tuck in, it wants to go, it doesn't wanna be on the outside. It wants to be trying to be on the inside here, like on both sides, so it, yeah, that body top. So it's not gonna be like an easy, like, oh, just put it on there. Let me know. Let me know about that one. Okay, aluminum drive shaft, it's cool, I'm glad. But you know, we're talking that we spent a little bit of money on this thing, so we kind of expect that little bit of extra little things. Obviously, ball bearings, four wheel drive, it's all good on that part of it. Plastic shocks, kind of expect that from Traxxas on that part of it. I don't think they're bad shocks or anything like that, but you know, you spend a little bit of money, kind of expect a little bit of stuff here and there. The Valenion system that's in here, I've never owned a Valenion system to let you guys know like, oh, if it's good or bad, you guys can let me know, but I think it's gonna be one of those things that's gonna be 
some people are gonna like it, some people hate it, they get rid of it, what have you. So I've never experienced it, and you know, oh, does it run hot? Don't put that, you know, that, I know when it comes to a speed gear, you don't wanna be running a speed gear when you're just kind of jumping and stuff like that, that's a bad idea. So pretty much for the most part, I'll always run it with the stock gear, pinion gear in there, and then maybe eventually switch out the system to something else, you know, with a little bit more power, or a lot more power. Maybe something that was in there. It's got a 2200 kV motor that's in there, a big old 6S system that's in that. Uh, but I haven't really run that too much. I ran it on a 3S because it's just buck wild <laughs> when it comes to anything more. All right, so speaking of running it on different power, since this is a 2 and 3S system, start with the 2S. This is a Gen Zace battery. These are what I use most of the time. Gen Zace batteries, I like them. I had good experiences with them. So, all right, so that's in there. No problem, easy peasy. You got a 2S LiPo in there, 5,000 milliamp, nice 50C discharge, you know. So not a bad one. And I've had this one for a while, so and it's been really good. Now this is a big pack. This pack right here barely goes in most vehicles. So when it gets into this vehicle, I'm impressed. Because these plastic packs and they're tall, they didn't hardly even fit into my BE6S, which is an, anyway, it's a Red Cat vehicle. And some of my other vehicles it just wouldn't fit. I do like this thing that switches around. I don't know, it doesn't really disperse a lot of you know areas of holding it down but it kind of holds it down enough but that other little arm that it comes with would work perfect for that put that arm in there and then you're good to go but I do like it that I can say okay I don't really want to run it on a 2 wet or I don't want to run on a 3s or vice versa it's all good on that part so I like that so definitely nice on that part of it so you can see those two batteries they pretty much match up on that one I don't have any measuring tape to kind of show you but if you look those up anyhow you can pause the video and you can find out what those specs are as far as that's a pretty it's pretty common as far as this size go so if you know what it is like oh okay that tracks is you know whatever it fits in there nice all right and uh, as far as like I said the Valenion system we'll see how that all works on that one and we'll do some upgrades eventually down the road depending on how this thing all works but I want to jump it just have fun with it anyway just like what you're supposed to do with RC vehicles just go out and have fun and uh, you know not overthink everything when it comes to running your RC car you know just get out there and have fun so yeah that's it I, I do again I like the wheelie bar that's on there it's pretty cool it's nice that it comes with one I'm sure this thing that just already tells me that this thing's gonna do wheelies every single time you want to punch the throttle on it all right I would put the body pot body top back on there but it, you know we know the drill now after getting it off it's not gonna be easy getting it back on I just left that one there just as a reference to, you know, the Rustler. This is the uh, four-wheel four -wheel drive Rustler. Definitely all different chassis and everything like that. Totally, completely different almost to everything on it. And, you know, there's a lot of different, you know, there's just a bunch of stuff that's different on it because <laughs> it's a two-wheel drive system. Motor's in the rear. This one's in kind of like the mid-motor, whatever. So anyway, that's that. Uh, this is going to be a long video, unfortunately. So anyway, I appreciate you guys watching. I'll get a running video of this thing here shortly. And until next time, this is Joe with OMGRC. You guys take care. Thank you for watching. And if you are new here, definitely consider subscribing. All right, later.